Hello there, thanks for joining me. One of the things I'm often asked is, how strong is EPDM rubber? So what I've done is I've got a, I've got a mock up here of a flat roof. Um, EPDM, ply, could be OSB board, 120 millimeters of insulation. Now, we've got a choice of how we build this up. Uh, EPDM glued to the ply, or the EPDM could go directly over the top of this. We do a lot of roofs and we put the EPDM over the top of the insulation without applied decking. People ask me how solid that is, can they get away with it? Well, this sort of demonstrates how good it is. It is really, really good and will take a lot of abuse. As you can see here, I can put quite a lot of abuse into it. I can just feel I've dented just there the insulation by doing that. And if I do this, now this is a lot of abuse, shows two things. I mean, there's a lot of pinch point at that particular point there. That's what we've done to the insulation below. And very little damage at all to the EPDM above. But if we do that on top of our ply, It hasn't marked the EPDM at all and I can feel just a slight dent there inside the or on the on the ply itself so if I put this at an angle and in front of me here I'm putting it at an angle because of the ladder I'm going to put the ladder on top because we've got quite a heavy ladder here three section ladder okay that is just on the edge just there and on that now if I put my weight on that you can see that just on that small surface of the ply, the way the weight spread, it's making no difference whatsoever to the uh, EPDM or the insulation. If I remove the ply, now this will work, as you will see, I can actually get on that and it works. I'm going to apply some bouncing on it. Now I'm sure if the EPDM had been glued down that wouldn't have been so drastic but what will happen is that will pop back and I wouldn't expect anybody to do that. We can see no damage to the EPDM, damage to the insulation. We could have done it as a, we could have put that over the top and then put that that way so that if everybody was careful when they were doing maintenance on the roof and they put a board down first, you wouldn't have to board the whole roof. Um, but that shows you both ways and shows you how good that EPDM is. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this EPDM and I'm going to go and drive on it on my van and see how good it is. And just before I do that, while I'm here, I'm just going to show you a little bit more drastic measures of how good the EPDM is. Now, you can see what's happened here. I can't see any damage to the EPDM whatsoever. Oh, I've broken the ply right the way through. So it's not sitting properly. No damage whatsoever. This is very sharp. Now I hit it, you can just see that that's split that. Of course if I hit it really hard I can go right through it. So just shows you it really does take some abuse. Let's go and have a look what it's like when we do it on the van.
So let's have a good look at this. This is the damage that I did uh, before. Now you can note here that the sledgehammer marks and the marks where I hit it with the hammer, they've, they've sort of pulled themselves back in again. Um, where the grit of this road, I mean, as you can see here, this road's really, really gritty. That hasn't really made any difference to that whatsoever. So on a really hard surface like this, uh, it's quite strong. It takes a lot of um, impact. Uh, pinch point is what that's actually called. But on the insulation, obviously that can give an awful lot more, but really does take a hell of a lot of stick. So thanks for watching my video. My name's Stephen from London Flat Roofing.